Now with the return of USA Pro Cycling to the area, it's got a lot to do with Knoxville and the surrounding area being cycle friendly. Yeah, exactly. And and last Pro Championship race in 2019, it really left a legacy, especially amongst our disabled community. WATE Six on Your Side reporter Don Dare says those unable to ride traditional racing bikes have found other types of bicycles. Your new champions, Ryan, Matthew, and David. Most inspirational were the paracycling racers of the 2019 National Paracycling Championship in Knoxville. Three, two, one, they are off. While they will not be racing this year around the winding roads of Knoxville, the competitive nature and grit of these athletes who compete despite their disabilities has left a lasting legacy in East Tennessee. Take Tom Lindquist. He was once a mountain bike enthusiast. Due to hip surgery, the retired civil engineer now rides recumbent bikes. Watching those paracyclists two years ago inspired Tom on this new way of biking. I enjoy being outside and looking around. Speed is not my issue, but I like going and seeing. And this allows me to look around more because I have to pay less attention to operating the machine versus a two-wheeler. I used to ride these. Andrew Blankenship turned his disability from an accident on the job into a business. After a year of using a cane, I said to my physical therapist, what are my options? And he said, get on a recumbent cycle at physical therapy. I went through that. And as a result, um, I could walk just fine. Andrew operates trailside trikes in South Knoxville. If you have physical considerations that prevent you from riding traditional bikes, these models may work for you. A lot of times on a normal bicycle, the world whizzes by you. When you're on a trike, it's like going from an old black and white 13 inch to widescreen color TV because you don't have to worry about balance. Now you can appreciate all the sights and sounds that you might have missed. <laughs> so recumbent means to recline and when you recline you have your feet out forward and what that allows you to do is rather than sit on a little tiny space like yay you're able to spread that derriere out like a lazy boy be much more comfortable if you will please sit down andrew had me settle in one of the recumbent trikes in his showroom so he took to it like a fish to water sitting down and getting comfortable was relatively easy on the big seat and so then what we do is we lean our head back that's a little, I, I would adjust the neck for you, sir. Mm -hmm. Getting a feel of the hand braking system is most important. You would steer like so. Mm -hmm. And paddle this way. Yes. Oh, look at that. And you brake like so. <laughs> <laughs> We're laughing because so how quickly I forgot that you break with your hands uh, and not your feet. One to go right now for Monica Serena. While many will miss watching the paracyclists race this year, they have left their mark, motivating others to wheel on in their wake. Anything that gets people moving again is medicine not only for the body, heart, soul, but the community. To bring people into Knoxville and to allow them to see that, hey, not only are we a great uh, travel destination, but a active sporting place. Don Dare, W-A-T-E, six on your side.